In this no-cut digital marketing teardown, we're gonna be analyzing Oat Hijabs and looking at the lessons we can learn from their digital marketing, what's going well and what could be improved. Spoiler alert, this is a business with some fantastic digital marketing, but half of the founding team have a background in digital marketing. So this is a business that very clearly has a digital marketing DNA. Because this is a no-cut teardown, it's one take, one chance to get it right, <laughs> fingers crossed. Let's go. So what's this business doing really well? Well, the first thing that they're doing really well is something that we talk a lot about, which is it has a very clear vision or a mission. This is a business that wants to take the hijab, which is often quite a commodity purchase, and make it a much more luxury, aspirational purchase. This is evident everywhere. This is evident throughout their digital marketing, not least on their phenomenal website. The design and the quality of the site is extremely high. This is a brand that takes cues from luxury fashion brands. For example, the layout of the logo, the fact they've got New York under there, immediately gives you signals that this is a high-end brand. The product photography is stunning. Everywhere, the photography is stunning. They have a very clear color palette. There's a very clear message behind the brand as we see when we look through their content later on. It's a really, really good looking and well thought through website. Even down to the ad creative that they're using in their Facebook ads, we can see that this same sort of style, this same sort of color palette runs through everything that they do, which gives it a really consistent look and feel. So that is awesome. The next thing that they do phenomenally well is their product pages. <laughs> now you hear me bang on a lot about product pages in particular, product photography. Often e-commerce stores are expecting their customers to buy with one or two rubbishy looking low resolution photos. The trouble is that doesn't do anything to replicate the in-store experience where we'd be picking something up, looking at it and examining it. Well, Oatage do a fantastic job of this. Um, look at the uh, range of product photography, the fact they've got videos kind of embedded in this as well, which show you all the details. There is no element of this product that you would not understand from spending some time on this page. There is even a video with how to style it and different tips for how to wear it as well. It's a flawless product page. It really is good. It's my new go-to reference for good quality product pages. Really good. This also, you will be uh, delighted to know, this also runs through to their category pages, We've talked in the past about uh, product category pages being such a key e-commerce asset because often these are the pages that you'd want to get ranking. These are the pages that you might be driving uh, ad traffic to. It's really important that your product category pages do a good job of selling not just the product, but also getting that page traffic. And here we have the Woven Hijabs page, which no surprises is ranking top of Google for Woven Hijabs. We've got some text copy at the, at the top here, which is not just generic boilerplate rubbish. This is stuff that actually makes sense and <clears throat> kind of positions the brand and talks about their USPs as well. This is a really interestingly laid out page. We've got products mixed with uh, product images here and also content and stuff like this. And then we've got these kind of USPs or these benefits at the bottom. So just like the product page, I think this is a masterful implementation of the product category page. And it all has this same really high-end look and feel about it, which is great. Um, the next thing they're doing really well, another lesson that we can learn from this is um, you have this quiz which takes you through a, a product selection process where you can talk about you know what's most important to you, the different styles that you like, um, any problems that you're facing, and it helps you to work out which product is gonna be best for you. Then the genius part is they have the email capture call to action there as well. Almost there, so subscribe so we can hook you up with new product styling tips and more. You can just go straight through to your results. I would love to see the stats on how many people go for each option, but I love the fact that they've added this in before the last step but not made it mandatory so it doesn't actually block people from getting the results because at the end of the day they want people to get through to the right product for them but I just love this implementation I think it's phenomenal and it takes you straight through to the product page which of course is awesome okay what about some things that maybe there is room for opportunity uh, there is opportunity for improvement well they've got this blog section on the site on a separate url blog dot uh, com, and um, this blog is awesome. There's a lot of work that has gone into this. If we go to the main uh, blog URL, yeah, let me just get back there. See this no take, no cut, tear down. <laughs> right. 
here we go. So we've got really frequent posting here, like once every working day, which is a serious, serious commitment to content. And I really respect that. We've got um, some really kind of important stuff going on here. We've got interviews with people. We've got some stuff which is kind of um, reinforcing their brand's message and the empowerment message which kind of runs through everything that they do. So that's phenomenal. Now my issue with it is this amount of investment in content I feel should be bringing better results with organic traffic. If we look at the estimated organic traffic that's coming through to the blog section on the site, and you always have to be careful with estimated traffic with SEO tools. Right, this is total guesswork basically multiplying the likely click through rate by the ranking um, and the search volume for each of these phrases. So it's always an estimate, but nevertheless, it's rarely out by you know factors of 10 or whatever. And for me, the volume of traffic that SE ranking is projecting this blog getting and the ranking that it's getting, I think they could do more to get better ranking with this. You know, this could be relatively straightforward stuff, for example. A piece like this, so three full styles with Parve crystal hijab, magnets making every occasion special. So that's a topic which is about, you know, styling a hijab in autumn or fall. You could do keyword research on that because there's going to be search volume on it. You could then come up with some titles which use your target keyword. You could arrange that post in a way that uses subheadlines and makes the most of these target keywords. You know, exactly the sort of stuff that you'd see um, for, you know, review type uh, organic search results where you're typing in um, information on product reviews and you get these long form content pieces that are ranking and they're linking through to products. Well, you could take exactly that approach here. The benefit of that is that this post is then going to get ranking for those sorts of keywords. So rather than just being something that you would send out to your audience or post on social, this post should be working hard and bring in tons of organic traffic on its own. And it's the sort of thing that you could recycle every year and update with the latest trends. So there's loads of opportunity there. The next lesson from this is actually on their YouTube channel. Now, really interesting, Melanie, Melanie the co-founder of Hijab, has been uh, really prominent throughout the business. And if you have a look at the history of their YouTube channel, if you order their videos by most popular, what you notice is that the most popular videos on the YouTube channel are actually when this channel was more like a vlog, really, it was more like Melanie's vlog. So she's got tutorials on how to wear your hijab, different styles and that type of stuff. And the views on this are insane, crazy, crazy good views. Now what's happened or what it looks like has happened I don't know if you saw the, we did a, a, a deep dive of Kylie Cosmetics digital marketing and we saw a dynamic there where the brand has been so heavily built around Kylie Jenner that it's then been difficult to kind of extricate her and uh, make the brand kind of take it to the next level kind of without her now, and now that they've sold out half to Cody, then that's going to be something that they want to do. Well, here we've kind of got a, a, a warning sign for doing that, because if we look at the most recent um, videos that they've uploaded, we can see it's gone away from the vlogger style, away from using Melanie so prominently. There are still some videos with Melanie, and those tend to be the ones that get good, uh, good view numbers. But we can see the danger here because the most recent videos have far fewer reviews than when it was Melanie and when it was more vlogging style. So this is interesting. It's both an opportunity and a warning. It shows the power of personality. The stuff that tends to do best on YouTube is personality plus information, stuff that people are searching for, and then there's a personality there that they can get hooked on and that they can cycle on. If you look at any of the most popular YouTube channels, it tends to be that combination. So how you get out of that and how you turn this into more of a brand social channel is what needs to be investigated. Now there is also crossover here with the Gymshark YouTube channel, because with Gymshark, remember what happened there if you've seen our Gymshark teardown is that Gymshark started by using influencers really prominently in all their YouTube stuff. It took off, blew up loads of views. They then kind of worked back from that and were less focused on influencers, more focused on like unique content uh, concepts, which 
in Gymshark's terms, bombed, right? And then they started bringing the influencers back and the numbers went up again. So I think what we've got to do here is experiment to find the right balance between using Melanie and also using other influencers, bringing them on here and using that to then get the brand messages in rather than just go purely brand message because at the moment it doesn't look like it's getting as much traffic with that. Uh, with that approach. So there we go, some really cool lessons. I particularly, you know, these product pages and these category pages, if you do nothing else and you're an e-commerce business, but you replicate what they are doing with these product pages, the product images and product photo photographs, you will see an increased conversion rate for your product pages. Same with your category pages. This is a fantastic model to use. Um, there's also a little nudge here. Where are we shipping your order today? That's called the assumptive close. I love it. Um, but these product, products and category pages, phenomenal. Um, so they are my new faves. Some great stuff there. Also opportunities for improvement as well. And it's the same sort of thing we see with this content section that we see all day, every day, is that people are putting time into their content and not necessarily looking at how do we maximize its impact once we've created it. So a bit of keyword research, a bit of I mapping the content topics that you're talking about to what people are actually searching for can take this stuff to the next level. I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget, if you want a similar video for your brand, then you can request a free website and marketing review from the team here at Exposure Ninja. All you need to do is go to ExposureNinja.com, click that big button to request your free marketing review. One of the team will record you a 15 minute video showing you how to improve the volume of leads and sales that you're generating through your website and also how to drive more traffic to it. All of this is totally free. Don't worry, we won't publish yours publicly on YouTube either. Um, it'll go straight to your email so you can have a look at it. And if you're interested in working with us, then we can discuss after that. Until next time, see you soon.